Well, you guys turned out to be a fun group. I, uh, I was outside as you guys were coming in. Somebody was on their cell phone. I like pacing around people I don't know when they're on their cell phone. <laughs> going, dude, you about done? I gotta make a call. <laughs> I got Sprint for my service. Sprint's great. Get service anywhere in the world, as long as not going by a tree or a bush. <laughs> Got that voice dial where you just say the name. Except it's not like on the commercial. The commercial's like, call Bob. Hey, Bob, what's up? You get the phone, it's more like, call Bob. Did you say Bill? <laughs> Barb? Bob? Bob, did you want Bob's cell? Bob's home? Bob's cousin from Utah? <laughs> Bob Sell, did you say Bob Sell? Yes, did you say yes? Yes, press one if you said yes. <laughs> you pressed two, did you mean to press two? <laughs> press one if you meant to press two. <laughs> it might be quicker to call Bob yourself. Called my friend on his cell phone not too long ago. I got this message. You ever get this message? Sorry, I'm away from my phone right now. Oh, yeah? Well, you might want to get one of those cell phones you can take with you. They got those now. <laughs> I think that's a big lie. I think the only reason not to answer your phone these days is because you don't want to talk to the person, right? And I'm honest with people. That's why if you call my phone, you get this message. Hi, it's Mike. I have caller ID. Bye. <laughs> You gonna do that? You gonna do that? <laughs> oh man, I hate when I'm talking, don't you hate this? I hate when I'm talking to somebody on the phone and they don't differentiate between our conversation when they start talking to somebody else. I was talking to my friend the other day. I'm like, hey man, you coming to my show this weekend? He's like, yeah, I'll be there. Uh, just put those boxes right over there. <laughs> yeah, set those boxes on the porch. Sorry, I was talking to somebody else. I wish you would have told me I just moved a bunch of boxes. <laughs> You guys got the 24-hour Walmart? Got that right over here? We got that, we got a new one by our house, 24-hour Walmart. Thank God for that. I don't know how many times I woke up at 3 a.m. going, I need some underwear and a cantaloupe right now. <laughs> 24-hour, every time I walk in there, I think, could we get a few more lights in here possibly? <laughs> Place is bright. People go, where'd you get your tan? Walmart. <laughs> I do 20 minutes a week in the shampoo section. <laughs> Place is huge too. I saw people hitchhiking. Anybody going with the vitamins? <laughs> Anybody? I got my glasses at Walmart. They have an optometry section at Walmart. You can get glasses there and everything. Took the eye exam. You guys have probably done that, the eye exam. That's pretty foolproof. It's like, okay, Mike, cover your right eye, read the top line. O, A, C, D. Okay, cover your left eye, read the same line. The O-A-C-D line, you remember read that one? W-K-L-M? <laughs> so I uh, used to live in Los Angeles, I used to live in Hollywood. Anybody here been to Hollywood, ever visited? Probably. Yeah. Who went, over here? Went to Hollywood? What were you doing over there? Studios? Visiting studios? Oh, just for fun? Uh, I'm in animation. Oh, okay. Did you drop off some resumes? No. Awesome. How long ago was that? Like, like six months ago. Okay, you're not going to hear back. Uh, <laughs> well, they would have called you by now. Um, I'm kidding. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I hope it works for you. The thing is, did you, go, you went to Hollywood? Did you get any parking tickets in Hollywood? That's what I'm talking about. The parking ticket people are wacko in Hollywood. My first week there, sir, I got three parking tickets in one week in Hollywood. My third parking ticket, I was going to some restaurant. I parked my car, I go in, I come out. I got a ticket because my wheel was not turned towards the curb. On my way home, going down Sunset Boulevard, I see a guy in a G-string carrying a bottle of wine yelling at people. He's okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess he parked straight. <laughs>
here's the married folks. Yeah, we got a lot of married folks here probably. Yeah. Right. Like I said, it's my wife and I's anniversary. I'll tell you one thing I've learned in 22 years. A man is incomplete until he's married. Then he's finished. Don't forget that. <laughs> you do have to have a good sense of humor in marriage. I was telling my wife the other day, I said, honey, you know guys like Tom Cruise are a dime a dozen. She goes, here's a nickel, get me six. <laughs> Anybody recently married or engaged here tonight? Anybody? Yeah? Recently married, sir? Uh, engaged. Recently engaged. Congratulations. When's the wedding? April 29th. April 29th. Get that in your head. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. What's your name, sir? Dalton. Dalton? You're going to learn a lot in marriage. If there's other single guys here, you're going to learn a lot. Listen up. One of the many things you will learn when you first move in with your wife is that there are two types of towels in the bathroom. <laughs> towels can use if you want to dry off and towels can use if you want to get killed <laughs> those are the good towels and the good towels are just for company to look at <laughs> don't ask what that means just memorize it because I guarantee you the first time you forget she catches you you're going to be walking around like Rain Man definitely shouldn't have used good towels definitely shouldn't have used good towels uh oh I'll never forget the first time I learned about the good towels. My wife and I are both in the bathroom standing at the sink. I just get done washing my hands. I happily start to reach for the closest towel. Do, 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 do. All of a sudden I hear, step away from the towels. It's my darling sweet wife looking a lot like Dirty Harry. I know what you're thinking, punk. Are those the good towels or the bad towels? Will you want to get lucky later, punk? Better be the bad towels. Well, she'll hurt you bad if she doesn't kill you. And no court would convict her, because they know, especially a woman judge, he did what? He used the good towels after playing mud football. So you set him on fire while he was asleep. Well, that's self-defense. <laughs> 